you know, all these are good signs. These are good, good things. Another mind-boggling story. Donald Trump uh, has a nephew. Well, he's got a couple of nephews. Uh, Mary Trump is one of them, uh, who's been on this program a number of times, who writes a great Substack newsletter and I, I, I have great admiration for. She has a brother. His name is Fred C. Trump III. Uh, they are both the children of Fred Trump, who was the oldest brother of the Trump family, uh, the son of Fred Trump Sr., who was the who was Donald's father and also Fred's father. And Fred, uh, uh, as I recall, drank himself to death. I think that you know. Um, and uh, but uh, Fred Trump, Fred C. Trump the third, he's a real estate mogul in uh, New York City. Uh, on his own right. I mean, Donald basically stole all of Grandpa's money, and so. But Fred made it himself, and he's doing he's doing okay. But um, he's not a billionaire. He's not he's not fabulously rich like Donald. And he's got a son who's severely disabled. He was born with a uh, a genetic uh, defect. Um, I had it here, but anyhow, it wouldn't it, 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 you probably wouldn't recognize it anyway. It's a particular. It's a particular gene that had, had failed or, or been damaged. Um, and uh, yeah, his father, uh, Fred Trump Jr., had died at the age of 43 in 1981. Um, but anyhow, he's got, he's got this son, his name is William, uh, who is severely disabled. And so uh, he went to Donald and, and, and said, uh, can you help me out financially here? It costs a lot of money to care for a child who is like just, you know, really severely disabled. And uh, this is while Donald was in the White House. This was in 2020. And he went to Donald and he said, uh, you know, can, can you help? He said, uh, in many ways, I felt like I was asking for money I should have originally received from my grandfather, by the way. Because Donald, you know, stole most of their father's money, of, uh, or of Fred Trump the Third's grandfather's money, uh, which is well documented. I don't, I won't go into all that. But he described his son's needs and the increasing cost for his care, and he writes, Donald took a, a second as if he was thinking about the whole situation. I don't know, he finally said, letting out a sigh. Um, maybe you should just let him die and move down to Florida. Just let him die. Fred Trump writes, wait, what? what? What did he just say? That my son doesn't recognize me? That I should just let him die? Did he really just say that? That I should let my son die so I can move to Florida? Really? He says, uh, I truly did not know what to say. He was talking about expense, expenses. We were talking about human lives. I turned and walked away. Incredible. This is, he's got a new book out, coming out, by the way, and that's where this came from. It's uh, this Fred Trump the third. Uh, it's called All in the Family of the Trumps and How We Got This Way. And uh, apparently Time Magazine published a, uh, a chapter of it that has this story in it, just in the last day or two, which is why it's all over the news. Finally, I wanted to 